Welcome back to Tech Garage presented by Advanced Auto Parts. Now we unveiled our Acura today and it took a lot of prep to get to that point. So today's performance playbook is all about preparation. Josh, this thing's meticulous, it's ready to go. You put a lot of prep into it in the off season. What do you actually have to do? We go through an entire recertification process. Which entails what? Um, sending m multiple parts to multiple vendors um, to get their stamp of approval to make sure it's okay to use it in the future season. Parts like what parts have to get certified? Everything from our valve cover restraints to clutch can, uh, lower containment blankets. All that has to be certified to actually run the car? Yes, sir. Very cool. Now the body looks awesome too. Our RSX looks good. This looks just as well. What do you do for the body and just prep? Believe it or not, it's just Meguiar's quick detail. I do believe it. It looks really, really well. <laughs> also, the parts. There's maintenance and prep involved with that. Is there a life cycle on parts? Yep, we usually freshen up the heads. Um, there is a run cycle on connecting rods and pistons, so all that's changed. Well, speaking of prep, Drew's got a Mustang out there. He's putting some airbags, and it took a lot of prep to get to that point. Let's check in with him. This is our 2015 Mustang, came in for a air ride suspension. Removed all the factory components, factory struts, the factory coils, replaced them with a bellow type air strut in the front and a bellow type bag in the back. It has a storage tank in the back to hold all the air. You have a, set, you have a valving system that actually puts the air to each corner for the air ride. You have a compressor that fills the tank. It goes through the car, it has self-leveling sensors on it, so when you start the car, it'll actually come up, go down all by itself. You have air stored in the tank, and you have empty bags. You hit a switch, and to activate the solenoids, transfer the air from the tank to whatever air bag that you push the button for. This is just pretty much a cool factor, and it rides excellent. That's this week's performance playbook. Back to Tech Garage for the email question of the week. John Brendan from Atlanta, Georgia emailed this week. He's got a 2010 Lincoln Town Car that's sagging in the rear. It's kind of famous on that car. He was told it was going to cost more than $1,000 to fix it due to that air ride system. What are your thoughts? Well, Brandon, that's about right. In that car, you have an actual air ride system or an air bag, a couple of them to be exact. And these things are located in the back, and that's what actually supports the Lincoln for the ride height. Man, you have some level sensors, you have some air lines that are going all the way up to a pump, a dryer to keep the air dry, and you got an electric motor up front or somewhere on the car pumping the air into these to keep these level. So it's a pretty complex system. That sounds like a pretty good estimate to me replace the whole system and or you got some options. You do, you know, they call it a delete kit. You can put a conversion kit on those now. It's a lot less expensive than that, uh, probably around half the price, but you can go back to a traditional coil spring setup. In that kit, the shock mounts come because you're going to have to add shocks as well. So, you know what, if you're feeling energetic and got the right tools in your driveway, you can tackle this. Yeah, the delete kit or keep it factory, stick with your airbags. Now our JK, <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, it is a Jeep for the decades. Absolutely. Love the amount of engineering that went into the design of that. We got the right kit from TerraFlex. We can do anything we want with that Jeep. Very I'll tell you what, I'm sure he is. And with that worn winch, getting any sticky situation, it's not going to have any issues. That bumper and winch will get them out. I'll tell you what, we're about out of time for today, Brian. We are. Come see us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Yep, and thanks for watching Tech Garage, where we get you back on the road. Production assistance for Tech Garage is provided by Chipola College, located in Mariana, Florida. Founded in 1947, Chipola was recently ranked as one of the top three community colleges in the United States. 